Alright, here's a flashlight video tutorial provided by masterflash.net. Uh, this video is only a sample video showing you bits and pieces of what's a part of the one hour tutorial that you can find on masterflash.net. Uh, in this particular one, we're going to be using Flashlight 3.0 and ActionScript 2.0 to create a video playlist. Alright, how's about a little mobile content? I'm going to show you how to uh, build a video playlist that is going to allow users to uh, select one through nine on their phones to actually choose what videos they want to play. So uh, this should be very cool. Uh, it might be a little painful, but um, try to roll through it and uh, give you some good code to use. All right, so if you're a beginner and you got this tutorial, you will be able to do it, but this is not going to help you as far as deploying your video um, because if you're a beginner, then you need to learn how to stay up with your device updates and actually uh, get some practice in with uh, getting a flashlight player inside of your phones, all right? And the only reason why I say that is because in, in the past with some of the mobile content tutorials that I've done, you get a lot of questions, a lot of questions, and this is not a good starting point. But it's good for you to have because this way you can have some code and stuff like that, all right? And uh, since we're doing this in Flashlight 3.0, next year, a year from now, it's going to be a lot easier for you to use this code based on, uh, you know, the, the ease that we're going to have with all the device updates and all the phones with the flashlight built in, all right, or the flash player built in. Okay, so I know that probably was kind of uh, not very vivid, sort of lame, but um, we'll get started. What I'm going to do is kind of run through what we've got on stage here. All right, just got some simple art on here that, on the stage just saying what it, what's available. I'm sure this will change as we go. Uh, and down here I've got a dynamic text box that is going to display... Uh, the vid video name that's playing that we're going to set up through ActionScript as well as uh, a timer that's basically going to count from the start of the video until, you know, it's done or if they select a new one, it'll reset. All right, and of course, I've set this up with a button in here in case there's uh, some beginners in here that don't know how to set up buttons. I will show you how to use this. Okay. All right, so if I publish this out, it's going to deploy uh, Device Central. And what you're looking at is uh, just the home page or like the, you know, original page that's going to load in. And of course, if you can use your directional arrows for any buttons that you have on the stage, you can uh, select this, all right, which highlights this button. And of course, you can hit this and it'll open up the web page, all right. But the uh, main key for this one is we can select our numbers down here to play a video from one through nine for one player, which is very cool. All right. Um, I don't have it set up right now, four through nine. Um, I will at the end of this, but right now I've just got it as one, two, three. So if I select video three, you can see that it's got now playing fire three video. All right, and it's counting up. And uh, if we press number two, it comes back to uh, fire two, and it restarts the counter. All right, same thing, and you can hop back and forth. All right, so fairly easy to use. Um, what we're going to be using is we're going to be using one of the generic players over here or uh, devices, okay? I will uh, leave it up to you for whatever content you're going to de deploy it to. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to close this down, and I uh, will basically start this up from scratch. All right, let me bring in um, the folder that you downloaded. Of course, you'll see more files than this, all right? I'll have uh, my original file that I'm going to work on, and then, of course, part one, start and finish. Of course, if you want to use the part one start, you can. That way, you're easily accessing the F FLVs that I include in this one. Um, although, I'm probably going to own it. Probably only going to include one or two. I don't want to uh, jam you up with a bunch of file size for the tutorials. So uh, feel free to use any of the FLVs that I have in here. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get rocking. On our main menu, of course, what we need to do is come to Flash File for Mobile. Select this. It's going to deploy Device Central, which allows us to choose our player version as well as our action script. Now I'm going to select Flash 3.0 for this one. All right. Can you get away with it with 2.0 and 2.1? Obviously, if you're a little more fluent at Flashlight, you know that you probably could. Uh, because ActionScript 2.0 will fall into the hands of 2.0 and 2.1. Um, of course, you're just going to have to figure out what uh, devices you can use. All right, and We're going to stick with standalone player here. And, uh, of course, let's come grab a generic phone. 
just going to use this one. It's got a 320 by 240. All right. And to uh, generate the you know automatic file, all we have to do is just double click on this, and it creates one for us. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and save this in my folder here. I'm just going to call it Mobile Playlist. You can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to hit yes. All right. Get my logo in here. Go ahead and lock that down. So what we're going to do is we'll wait to the end to dress this up. That way I can go ahead and give you the code and uh, you won't have to worry about, you know, waiting for it while I uh, draw some art and things like that. All right. So here, actions. All right. I'm going to call this, uh, you know, we can call this vid underscore player. Okay. So the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and set up a video object on stage that we can uh, reference our net stream to. All right. So just come into your library, select this menu out here, new video. Okay. And you can call this whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it at video one. It's not a big deal. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is just drag this onto the stage. All right. So just click and drag it out. And while we're here, we should just go ahead and give this an instance name. Excuse me. All right, I'm gonna bring out my rulers to center this up a little bit. And I also make this a little bit bigger. That should work. All right, so with that on stage, let's go ahead and give this an instance name. I'm going to uh, call this vid underscore player. All right, and um, I'm trying to decide whether or not we should go ahead and set this up. Uh, the way that we're going to do this is we're going to put this inside of a couple of movie clips. That way it will allow you to uh, get a little crazier with it. I probably won't show you how to add the animations to it just to kind of save you on some time uh, because I'm sure that you're mainly getting this for the code. Uh, so we're going to end up deploying this inside of movie clips to uh, you know where you can either make this rotate, apply transitions to it, or motion tweens and things like that. That is the end of the sample video for the Flashlight 3.0 ActionScript 2.0 video playlist. To uh, find the source files and watch the rest of this video tutorial, you can find it on masterflash.net. Hope you enjoy it.